the Army has developed a new weapon, this one to fight for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM education. It's called the STEM Asset Vehicle, and they'll be deploying it around the country. Throughout the year, it's going to be traveling th uh, throughout the United States, basically, uh, going to schools, uh, also going to uh, major conferences, especially uh, conferences that have a uh, uh, STEM focus uh, to, to get students as well as educators to experience and, and become aware of what the U.S. Army does, not just for support of the warfighter, but uh, contribution to the nation in, in general. Lopez went on to explain the vehicle utilizes technology as a tool to capture students' attention and engage them in math and science applications. The vehicle was undergoing beta testing at schools near the Research Development and Engineering Command at Aberdeen Proving Ground, where it was conceived and created. One of those schools was Elkton High School, and the students were impressed with the vehicle. You just get to see the simulations and everything of what people kind of go through on a day-to-day -day basis with different things that go on around the world. And that was pretty cool, actually. I liked it a lot. It was a couple of things. I wish we had more time, but besides that, that was pretty, it was cool. I enjoyed it a lot. It was pretty cool. I liked how you could like interact with the um, build your own technology stuff, like with the vehicle thing at the end. It was realistic. It was cutting edge. <laughs> I liked it a lot. It felt like the news from like 9-11 and just like it was like breaking news. Epic. That was epic. Like I, I don't, that's the only word I could think of to describe it. It was, it was amazing. I, I mean, if I had known the Army had technology like that, I probably would have looked into it a lot more. Sergeant First Class Matthew Oliver has served in the Army for over 18 years, the last 10 years as a recruiter. We'll go to different schools, uh, events like the Chicago Auto Show, uh, All-American Bowl, conventions, things like that, and we'll, we'll set this asset up in different places. And, and we'll drive it from, you know, an event maybe in Texas to, to the next week we'll be in going through schools in California. I, I try to describe it as something, you know, designed to, to show them how the Army uses technology and advances technology, and then how their pursuit of a degree in something in an advanced field, such as science, technology, engineering, or math, could be helpful to not just the Army, but also civilian employers. The official launch of the vehicle is slated for January 6th at the Army All-America Bowl held in San Antonio. For Army Technology Live, I'm Dennis Neal.